Uh, switch map. How many people are using switch map? Oh yeah, that's great. That's actually a lot more. Um, I didn't at first, and then when I came across switch map, I was just like, oh, this is so nice. Um, so switch map is one of the top five operators in use as well. Uh, it's another transformation operator, and just like the name implies, it allows us to switch from one stream to another. So we get an input, and then the output observable stream is where we're switching, right? And so it, un it unsubscribes from the previous in observable, or the input observable, and it subscribes to the new observable. Let me show you an example of that so it makes, uh, so it's clear. Uh, it looks like I've got two for you, so containers edit, edit oh, which I think we were in. No, that's, uh, is that powers? Here it is. Cool. Can you guys see that? So, uh, I, no, I, I haven't installed Prettier yet. It would have done way better than I did. Um, and I actually left this up top, this commented version, because that's kind of what I would consider, you know, perhaps anti-pattern, kind of like, if you don't know about switch map, this might be what you're doing. Um, and so you can see in this instance, I'm subscribing to the param map to get the params to then set my hero observable. So hero is an observable of a hero up here. <laughs> yeah. And so I'm kind of, again, I had this dependent action, dependency almost, if you will. Like before I can get a hero, I need the value, the ID value that's uh, emitted from the param map observable, right? And so I found myself, I found myself using this pattern a lot. Um, and I don't know if there's anything necessarily wrong with it, but we're not using uh, the power of ArcGIS and the operators that are available to us. So in kind of like maybe a better way, I can just say this dot hero equals, and it's going to be equal to the observable that's output from the switch map. So I'm switching streams, right? So I get the stream of the param map. I can call get hero with my ID value. And I'm returning the observable that gets returned from the HTTP client. So get hero is just HTTP client hitting that JSON server uh, REST API. And so now I can set this dot hero equal to the observable that's returned from the switch map. Does that make sense? Any questions? Okay, cool.